afternoon everybody it's Paula from Positive Energy how are we doing today at two o'clock I'm here to go through a 10 minute routine for your legs and your booty today so let's revitalize and shake up the afternoon I hope you're all well enjoying the sunshine drinking lots of water remember that this little 10 minute little taster block does not include a warm-up doesn't include your cool down on your stretch so you can use it on the back and bolt it on after a session that you've had okay so just a little march on the spot i hope you've enjoyed the other videos so far remember they're all posted on the youtube channel positive energy health and fitness and if you are interested in joining me on my normal online timetable for lots of different fitness classes strength stamina core um hip workouts you know where i am let's give a little tap to the side and i'm just going to warm up the legs a little bit remember you don't have to do the exercises with me at full power you can actually just do them gently and then when you come to do them twice through remember i only go through them once today and then they're recorded for you to watch later on do more reps maybe two two you know times round or three little knee lifts at the front for me nice and tall remember you've got to be fitting well and any niggles aches or pains work through them to the point that if it's painful you have to stop okay hope the arms feel well after yesterday nice and strong that's it okay so the timings i'm going to work with today is similar to yesterday 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest take one leg just give me a little circle round give me a circle round just want to loosen them up a little bit don't have to go massive keep that posture nice and tall the 15 seconds rest gives you enough time to change positions at a leg okay round we go so i'm not going to make it complicated it's not about being complex it's about getting the movement right understanding where you should be feeling the work okay give me one more lovely okay a couple of little mini little squats in there I've not gone squat heavy today, even though it is your booty and your bread and butter move sometimes of the squats. Okay, anybody with knee issues, just don't take it as low. Okay, alrighty, get a little bit of marching in there. So what we're gonna do first of all is your outer thigh raise. So as much as we wanna work the booty, our hips are encompassing a lot of other muscles in there as well. So we're gonna stand the shoulder width apart. We're gonna lift and come out and you're gonna stand almost like a pendulum swing. So the levels are touch the floor in between if you wish. If you want to work a little bit harder, you lift and you don't put your foot down to the floor. Okay, ready to go. Let's get some timings on and we're good to go. Keep marching your feet for me. Keep marching those feet. You are gonna get a little bit warm. I appreciate that. Okay. Timings are on the music. Lovely to see you all today. Hi, Chris Declare. Good job. Okay, nice and tall, shoulders back. Always think about good posture. All right. Good balance. Any leg, take it out. Pulling your abdominals. Now, remember, this is going to be a leg and booty exercises for you, but that's not to say you're actually not going to be working other muscle groups. Keep those shoulders relaxed, raising that leg. Now I'm gonna show you from the side that the leg is absolutely in line with my body. Look at how I've turned my toe there. It's actually a straight angle of the trainer coming straight up to you. Keep it going. Anytime you need to rest, you put the foot to the floor. Anytime you don't wanna use your arms. Think about a little bit of a squeeze as you lift, just march it through. What you'll find is that you're actually aching on your standing glute as well. Never a bad thing. Okay, foot in position. Abs, get those hips nice and straight. Shoulders back and down, lighten up the foot that you're working. And lift. Now because you've already stood on that leg, <laughs> it's already aching. Now remember, you've got to think of the overload. So this is why it's important sometimes to repeat the set again. You've got to think no, no gains are made by not just pushing the boundaries. Remember to drop the foot if you need to. Arms are in there for balance. Keep that core nice and strong. Try not to lean. It's not a leaning process. 
process, okay? It's tall. You're gonna have to go with the beat to the music. It's there for timings more than anything. Good job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little mini squat. We're gonna take a leg behind and do almost a curtsy. Really Get good ready. for the glutes, the quads and the hamstrings as well. You don't have to go big. We're alternating each side. Let's go. Little mini squat, down into curtsy lunge. Stick your bottom out. Oh, I missed my squat there. Squat, curtsy lunge. Now, if you don't want to do the squat and you just want to go into those little curtsy lunges, by all means, I'm just putting a holding pattern in there. Almost just reset the legs a little bit. Keep that posture tall. Curtsy lunge is almost like, you know, you're not going massive on the leg behind. Take your time. Keep that shoulder Four, posture three, nice and tall. Two, one. Good job, always go to the end. Okay, little mini squat and donkey kicks. Now I'm gonna show you from the side. Little squat, push behind. Push, not yet, get ready. Four, three, two, on we go, we take one. it down. Push. Now, your premise here is to try and keep that leg straight as soon as it's left the floor. So you're not gonna be bending the leg, so I don't want this. Down for the squat and activate your glute muscles. They are the oh, biggest in your there. body. job or driving you just don't activate the glutes hips become a problem lower back starts to grumble as I've told you all week your muscles love to move the design that way well done Woo. okay down to the mat or your floor we're gonna go for your hydrant so we're literally gonna lift our leg to the side that back nice and flat. Don't put too much three, weight through the shoulders. Two, one. We lift. Now try and keep your vision down between your thumbs. You're lifting. Now it's called a fire hydrant because you've got to imagine, you know what I'm gonna say, that, that you are a doggy out for a walk. Halfway, don't change legs. I'm a little stickler here. That if you, of course, wanted to and you're on your own, you could. I'm going to go for just working hard on one side. Keep that core in nice and tight. No rocking. You've got to come up and activate the whole of your glute bead max and minimus. Okay. <laughs> Good job guys, remember link and like and share the videos, let's get everybody get involved, we're all free. Okay, let's get people moving, fitter, stronger, change legs, let's go, up. My mission is to just keep everybody fit, strong, mindful of what their body can do. If we don't use it, I'm sweating already, stripping off my chin, we will lose it. And then it will take quite a bit of time to get it back. Oh, Halfway. Let's posturally check. Draw the knee in. Don't let that knee touch the floor. Try not to push out on your standing hip. You are out and in. Well, that's a bit close, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Four, Hi, Dion, my darling. Two, Okay, now get down to the floor on your back. Okay. So we're going again. It's only six round on that one, so I'm going to go again. Okay, so we're going to go into bridge position. So we're going to lie down, knees bent, hands, palms up. Okay, so feet flat, You're and then we're literally going to lift up. In four, then we're going to pulse. Two, Take one. it. Up. Up. Now don't come all the way back down. You've got to keep that core in tight. Lift. I want you to really squeeze your bottom 
cheeks. Now, if you want to work hard, you get your arms in front. Don't let that bottom drop. I'm watching. Keep the hips up. Let's go small. It's small. It's the squeeze. It's the activation. Lift. Halfway. Push your shoulders into the floor. This is so important. This is the move. It's like you've just got to just think small. Squeeze. Come on. Lift. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Bring the knees in if you wish. Okay. This time we're going to do a running bridge. This is your last one on the right and left. We hold, we run. Right then left. Okay, well you're following a pattern. If you're sat there thinking, oh, what do I do, what do I do? Put it on, follow the lead, go for it, and repeat it twice. If you wanna go three times, you know, you can go three times. You don't need a stopwatch. The music's on playing for you. Hit that reset button at two o'clock. Guys, they're all on the pages. Paula Ferris, Positive Energy Health and Fitness. It's going on the YouTube channel, so link and subscribe to the channel and then you'll get all the videos that I put on which are going to be a lot more now. I've got a little bit more time on my hands so it was lovely to have you all in at two o'clock today. Let me just come in and see you all. Okay, hi Becky, hi Sherry, hope you're all well my darling. Stay safe, stay home, clap at eight o'clock for NHS for saving, you know, save the NHS, keeping us safe. Lovely to see you all guys and I'll catch up with you soon. Have a lovely afternoon, drink some water.